Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's local sports. The Afreda Tigers picked up a 2-1 shootout win at home over Prosser in the first round of the 2A District Soccer Tournament Saturday. Chloe Spencer scored in the 28th minute to give Afreda a 1-0 lead. The goal held up through intermission. The Mustangs tied the match at the 47th minute mark. Both teams went without a score in the final 33 minutes of the contest and the game went to overtime. Goose eggs were posted in the extra period, so the match went to a shootout to determine the winner. The Tigers won the battle 4-3 on goals by Lana Swede, Monet Hendrickson, Haley Berryman, and Friedeline Ham to take the contest 2-1. The win puts Afreda in a rematch with West Valley for the district championship in Yakima Tuesday at 5 p.m. The Tigers are looking to avenge their only loss of the season to the Rams and get an automatic berth to state. If Afreda drops a match to West Valley, they will play the winner of the Ellensburg-Prosser game with the victor qualifying as the number two seed for the big dance. Wharton turned back Cleelum 2-1 in a first round 1A SCAC East District Soccer match at home Saturday. Briley Whitney scored off a penalty kick in the 19th minute of action to put the Cougars up 1-0. The score held up until Jennifer Mendoza blasted a shot past the Warrior keeper at the 63rd minute to increase Warden's lead to 2-0. Cleelum avoided the shutout with a goal at the 79th minute mark. The win over Cleelum sets up a semifinal showdown with LaSalle at Marquette Stadium Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Well, the Moses Lake Chiefs suffered a gut-wrenching 23-17 overtime loss to the Davis Pirates on the road Friday and now find themselves in a must situation to secure the state playoff berth for the Columbia Basin Big Nine Conference. Moses Lake led 17-10 with just under seven minutes to play in the game, but Davis tied at 17 all when quarterback Mikhail Lazat connected up with Eric Briscoe for a six-yard TD with a minute 42 left on the clock. Chiefs had first possession in the overtime period. Facing a fourth and 13, Moses Lake opted to try and pick up a first down instead of attempting a chip shot field goal. Quarterback Easton Castro was sacked on the play and the ball went over to Davis. The Pirates picked up a first down at the Moses Lake 12 and two plays later, Santana Saez scored on a two yard run to give the Pirates the come from behind win. The Chiefs could have locked up a berth to the state playoffs with a win over Davis, but now must beat Eastmont at home Friday to get in. iFiber One Sports will be broadcasting the Chiefs Wildcats game at 7 p.m. Friday. The Soap Lake Eagles dropped their last game of the regular season to Indiana at home Friday night. The Eagles jumped out to a 6-0 lead on a 26-yard TD pass from Joe Kutzchel to Ben Winters. But a 90-yard pick six by the Tigers even things up 6-6. Six, six. A one-yard Dustin Foster run and a two-point conversion by Cutshaw brought the first quarter scoring to an end with the Eagles up top 14-6. 20 unanswered points, including another long interception return for a score, blew the game wide open for Inniat as the Tigers went to the locker room at the half with a 26-14 lead. Inniat pushed the score to 48-14 at the end of the third quarter of play. So Blake mounted a comeback in the fourth quarter, outscoring Intiat 20-8, but it was too little, too late, and the Eagles' wings were clipped 48-34. So Blake ends the regular season in sixth place with a 2-4 record. The team is scheduled for a crossover game at Welpinant Friday. Efreda lost out on its bid to secure the fourth and final playoff spot in the Central Washington Athletic Conference with a last-minute 30-23 loss on the road to the Prosser Mustangs. Tigers trailed 28, 20 to 14 at the half, but rallied to tie the game 23 all with eight and a half minutes to play. An 18 yard TD from TD pass from Mason Shute to Cardell Jones with five minutes left sealed the deal for Prosser. The Warden Cougars made it back to back wins with a 38 35 win over Natchez Valley at home Friday. Warden beat Kyono Benton October the 25th and looks to close out the season with, a three, with three wins in a row and a victory over Granger in a crossover game Friday. The Quincy Jacks closed out their season with a 50-26 loss on the road at Caribou Trail League champion Kashmir. And finally, Almira Cooley Heartline Warriors failed to make the postseason after a 58-20 loss on the road to the Odessa Harrington Tigers Friday. For a more in-depth look at the games, visit us 
online at www.ifiber1.com. We'll be right back after this.